Okay, we're back with Mike Harrington from Gainesville Mechanical, and we've moved over to this beautiful condenser unit, Mike. I mean, there's not too many that you can say are beautiful, but that, that, is, one, that is just one pretty machine. Tell us a little bit about this one. Well, this here is a five ton, it's the 20 sear unit. Um, actually, in the five ton, it equates to about a 15 sear the way this unit is matched up right now. Uh, it has a two speed compressor, so it only runs at five tons capacity during peak demand in the hot days of the summer, it's gonna run in five tons. Most of the time it's gonna run on a low speed, which would be more around three and a half tons of capacity. Okay, I, I'm not real sure what it, when you talk about it's running on five tons or three tons, I, I, don't, I don't understand what that well, means. Well, a ton is considered, is 12,000 BTUs. The, it takes a ton of air conditioning to remove 12,000 BTUs of heat. Okay. So five tons would be 60,000 BTUs okay. of energy being used. Of energy being used. Right. Okay. But most of the time, you don't need full capacity of the unit. So it runs on a low speed. During 85% of the time, it's going to run low speed, and then the other 15% on high speed. Another term you use very quickly is SEER. What does that stand SEER for? SEER is Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. It's a number the government puts on equipment to, to designate the efficiency. The higher the SEER rating, the least amount of, the lower the energy it uses. And the, the current energy code is, is what SEER do we have 13 to use? 13 SEER is the minimum, okay. uh, which just two years ago it was 10. 13 was medium. Okay. Now 13 is the minimum. Why, why is it moving? To get more efficient, more energy dependent. Okay. If you haven't noticed, you know, energy costs are going through sure. the ceiling. So yeah, if you're going to replace your system and you're going to be in your house, you know, five or 10 years at least, it's a no-brainer to upgrade to a more efficient system. It'll pay for itself in the long run. I know that I've been accused of getting too technical sometimes, but I think it's important that we kind of give a 500 words or less description or explanation of the refrigeration process. How in the summer we get cold air in our house and we get the hot air out. So, so kind of well, tell us how that it's, works, It's kind Mike. of a misconception. People yeah. think that air conditioners blow cold air in the house, but actually, an air conditioner removes heat from inside the house. Okay. So anytime you remove heat, the absence of heat is cold. Yes, oh. that so makes sense. What, Can't believe you the way an that. air conditioner works is that return air duct sucks the warm air from in the house in through your system, through your blower, and through an evaporator coil. Okay. This condenser pumps a liquid refrigerant, and the refrigerant uses is the heat exchanger. Okay. So it pumps that liquid up to the evaporator, it sprays it through a metering device into the evaporator. As the air moves across that evaporator, it absorbs the heat out of the air. So the leaving air is colder, and that's what it blows back into the house. So it's that, really taking the heat out, out of the air, leaving cold right. air. It warms up the refrigerant, that refrigerant carries the heat back into this unit here, and the compressor compresses that vapor back to a liquid it pumps it through this coil and this fan sucks air across the coal. You feel the heat blowing out the top of the unit, that's right. the heat coming out of the house. Now, is the refrigerant and, and liquid, is that, this, is that the same thing? Are you talking about the same thing? I mean, I, I yeah, was Yeah, liquid, liquid or? refrigerant or, you know, we spray it off to a vapor and then okay. we compress it back to a liquid and it's a cycle. That's when they call it a refrigeration cycle. Okay. So uh, yeah, it the takes all of those parts to make it, make it happen and work. And when that refrigerant gets compressed, it's a gas, it gets compressed, by the compressor and turns back it to back a to a liquid. Okay. Okay. Nice little cycle, huh? Now, another thing that's amazing is this unit is running right now. We've yeah, got three microphones on, this unit's running. I can't even, I can barely even yeah, hear these it. These are uh, some of the quietest units on, on the market. Um, and, and not just this, but the indoor furnace as well. You're never gonna know if it's running or not. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the quietest. Some of them down to 60, 65 decimals. Wow. It's very quiet. Uh, a heat pump. Now I've, I've heard it said that a heat pump is nothing more than an air conditioner running backwards. Is that, uh, is that pretty? It. It's a reverse cycle air conditioner. Really? Okay. In the air conditioning mode you have the evaporator inside uh -huh. that removes the heat from the air and you have the condenser outside that blows, rejects the heat to the outside air. A heat pump <clears throat> just reverses the flow of direction. The outdoor heat pump becomes the evaporator it pulls the outside air, removes the heat from the outside air, and then dispenses it into the house through the condenser. So if it's 50 degrees outside, there's a certain amount of latent heat that's oh, in yes. that 50 degree air 
and it takes that heat There's and it heat puts it in here. Unless you're down to absolute zero, and I think absolute zero is oh, you're like testing us. Yeah, right, something degrees. negative, yeah. something right. cold. Cold. cold, cold. So as long as it's not absolute zero, there is heat to be picked up and dump back into the wow. house. Wow, all right. Well, when we go back in the house, we're gonna be taking a look at the furnace. There's more to come on It's More Than a House.